Hello everyone, my name is Felix, I'm a structural engineer and today I'm going to show you how to design, how to um, um, calculate the design bending moment for a two-way slab based on the Australian standard AS3600 2018. Alright, let's start. So if you look at the Australian standard, if you look at the um, AS3600 um, 2018 clause, I think it's um, section 6, you'll be coming across two formulas. One is uh, M star X and one is M star Y. So M star X is for the shortest span of the two-way slab uh, bending moment and the M star Y is a bending moment for a longer span of the um, two-way slab. So as you can see, the, sim the formulas are quite simple. It's a bit uh, for, for um, M star X, uh, which is the Design bending moment in a shorter span is beta x times um, fd times lx squared. So what is fd? So fd is basically is the um, a uniformly distributed design load per unit area, and that's a factored load. So which means um, when you've got um, all your loading like self weight superimposed that load and um, live load then you have to multiply that, those values by the correct factors which is given by AS 1170.0 so um, um, let's move on so um, what is BX so BX basically you have to um, define that based on the um, tables so it depends what sort of ductility class reinforcement you're using in your slab if you're using um, type um, or if you're using class N reinforcement, then you have to use um, table 6.10.3.2a to estimate um, your um, beta X, beta Y. And if you're using class L reinforcement, obviously you've got to use the table B. So let's um, move on to a quick example and just make sure that everyone understands what's going on. So, um, um, Let's imagine we've got a um, two-way slab, two meter by four meter. So, um, and we've got the live load of um, 1.5 kPa. This is just for the sake of example. Uh, superimpose that load. It could be anything. It could be tiles. It could be anything that you put on your slab. Um, your um, um, on your on your slab. That would be one kPa. And the self weight is basically calculated based on um, the concrete density times the thickness of your slab. If you multiply these two, it gives you um, a value in kilopascal, which is your self weight. Um, so I extracted the load combination um, from the AS1170.0. This is worst case scenario 1.2 times the debt load plus 1.5 times live load. So we calculated the self weight uh, of the concrete slab, which is um, 0 0.15 times 25 kilonewton per meter cube. So the density of concrete are considered as 25 kilonewton per meter cube. So the Australian standard says 24 kilonewton per meter cube. So it doesn't matter. It's just I just consider that as you know just an easy way to calculate numbers. So um, this was our um, self weight and the um, law and the um, debt, the superimposed debt load was one kPa, which was given here, um, and you got one point two times one plus zero point one five times twenty five kilonewton per meter cube. So that's um, this basically this bit, and the second part of the formula is one point five times the live load to so one point five times the live load, which is again it's 1.5 um so you multi you multiply and plus all these numbers you put them together and then you give um you get 7.95 kpa this is your factored load so this is what here it was mentioning that your um, distributed design per unit area has to be factored so we go back to the example again so um where do we get the um Bx. So firstly, you have to divide the Ly, the longer span, by the shorter span, and 
that gives you a number so how long your span is four meter divided by two that gives you two and um, we have to refer to table 6.10.3.2a so if you look at the table here so uh, for the sake of example again i consider we've got our slab we consider our slab has um, four edges discontinuous and if you've got your ly divided by lx if it's equal or greater than two then you gotta select this number here which is 0 0.111 so let's go back to the example again so we've done pretty much everything we calculated um the fd which is the uniformly distributed load and that was factored and um the bx um basically from the table and the ly divided by lx we get this value and the last thing is to calculate the design bending moment in a shorter span which is this span the m star x is equal beta x fd lx squared and that's equal to 0 0.111 times 7.95 kpa that's our uniformly distributed load times the um, shorter span squared which is two meter and that gives you the value of 3.53 kilonewton meter this was a quick and short tutorial for um, engineers um, um, i can imagine lots of um, engineers are struggling to basically understand these very basic concepts so i hope it helps so thank you for watching